Look at that birdie. Hello. Hello. That was good timing, mate. That's good timing. You made it all worth it already. Hello. Whoa. Whoa, you're a, you're a brave one, aren't you? Uh, so it's basically like quite a big muddy hole in the ground. Yeah. Um, not really good for much. We, we, we bought it out for you know decent price and things. Mm. And then what we've done is we've turned it into a lake systems and we had hundreds of volunteers come down and hand by hand plant all the reed beds that you see out there today. Mm. Uh, the reason why we did it and made it what it is is because we were specifically trying to bring back this bird, which is the bittern. There oh, was yeah. only 10 of those birds left in the country estimated in the 90s. Um, and awesome. it took 15 years for the first one to show up. We didn't reintroduce them, we just built the habitat and then they come in. It took 15 years for the first one. Mm. Uh, now we've got 38 birds on reserve and there's an estimated between 400 to 500 in the whole entire country, which is pretty good. Somerset's yeah. a good place to see them, particularly down here is a good place to see them. Oh, that's I've amazing, seen two, yeah. Two just fly over the car park. Today. Yeah. Um, the best place for you to go and see them is at the Avalon Hyde, which is this one just here. So if you're in the car park here and you yeah. come down, walk down the main track, go over yeah. the bridge, and then you come up to the Hyde. If you want to spend right. a little bit of time in there, have you got some binoculars as well? No. Nope. Like you don't necessarily need yeah. binoculars, it just makes yeah. things a little bit easier to see. Yeah. And, and to sort and, of identify what it is that you're seeing, because you might see things at a, yeah. a great distance and things. Okay, how far is it to walk around? How long? Not, not that long. So if you were to do the whole loop, which you won't be able to get round onto this bridge here, because it's shut off, she's crossed it out there. Yeah. Uh, that could take you about an hour walking all the way around there. All so right, no problem. So it's yeah. not too bad. If you want to make sure that you stop off and have a look around there, yeah. do, do a nice loop to walk around there. There's lots of dragonflies and things around here. Okay. And then you can come down into that hide. Generally, the cuckoo's heard around there. Yeah. The bearded tits have been heard mm. and seen around there. Mm. Also, so if you come back up then, you go up into the Avalon Hyde, you generally see bitterns, marsh harriers, great white egrets, the bearded tits around there, you'll get lots of warblers, you get Chetty's warblers, sedge warblers, reed warblers, things like this. Right, um, hobbies nice. are sometimes still around yeah. in this area here, it's sort of towards the end of the season for them now. Um, yeah. but uh, one of our colleagues has been out today and they've seen, I think they saw one or two of them out there. Um, right, hobbies you say? Hobbies, yes, yeah. so it's a bird of prey. Um, that's oh, right, quite, nice. It looks a little bit like a peregrine falcon, but they're much smaller. Yeah. And at a distance, you could mistake them for a swift. Yeah. Um, but they're at, but obviously, if you see them closer, they're much bigger, and you can you can tell that they're actually a type of bird. Yeah, of prey. so it's interesting, and you like to see the birds all the time during all, the day. All over the place. Yeah, the time. yeah. Any any time of the day. Yeah. Um, obviously, generally speaking, with birds, things are more active in the mornings and the evenings. Yeah. Um, rather than in the middle of the heat of the afternoon. Yeah. But as it's not that hot of a day today. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll see. A little bit more out there yeah um, I, like i say i've seen a lot of stuff flying over just the car park here so oh, i'm yeah. sure you're going to see stuff out on the reserve so, yeah. yeah i'm looking forward to seeing different different types of birds and yeah, no worries. different animals and wildlife yeah enjoy it thanks for the info yeah no worries yeah i'll just go and have a wander so, this in me just down the car. just down the track there that's it right awesome thank you cool. thanks for your time ross no take it easy oh, yeah see you later i haven't got anything for you this one's attacking us Come on, you're frightening, you're scary. Come on. Who are you then? Huh? You're a cool one, I like it. Okay, leave me alone. Go on and enjoy yourself. All right, I'm trying to get this uh, information out here. I'm being disturbed by this uh, aggressive birdie. Hanwell is a wetland team with wildlife from rare species of water, water voles and otters to magnificent birds like bitterns and kingfishers. Right, we're going to set off on the walk, do a loop, got about an hour, and uh, yeah, see what amazing little things we see. I got you on the camera. Whoa! 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 You're a brave one. I've never seen such a brave I'm scared of this bird. It's not food! It's not food! That lop on there! Oh this is cool today. Yeah we've got a lovely healthy looking pond that has frogs in, toads and things. So here we have another, another Jack Dawes. Hello, say hi. Oh you've got have you got something? Insect, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> something different today, something really interesting. So, we're gonna just walk around and 
Do a loop. So far we're just following this track up here. Nothing that interesting so far. We've got a sign there uh, saying number two, a wren. One of our most popular common songbirds. Anything good down here? Anything good to see? No? no. Not yet. All right, nice herons. That's nice. Okay, enjoy, see you later. A viewing platform. Of different species. Okay, we found a bit here. 200 meters boardwalk. Loxton Marsh Trail this way and Heath Trail that way and that way. It's on this sign, see the views there. It's getting interesting now. Rough, rough. The rough wedding bird is a very complicated courtship ritual. See anything interesting? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah, I see a swan. Yeah, okay, enjoy. See you later. Yeah. It's another really nice Luco point. Yeah. Yeah, the kind of place I think you need glasses. <laughs> need more than glasses. I need glasses. Uh, I leave them in the car. So I see blurry kind of things. So, but you need binoculars. When you need glasses to see clear and binoculars, you can see it's not really ideal. I don't have a zoom lens. I'm really enjoying it so far. So happy that I came. And uh, that bird at the beginning just like made it brilliant straight away. Lots of dragonflies, but they're, they're like specks probably with this camera. Absolutely beautiful. I love all the greenery. Just teeming with greenery and wildlife. Such good. Got her to breathe around here. It's lovely being connected with nature. Look at that. And we are for another Luco point. Look at what we have here. A very interesting sculpture. Love the levels, like you love life. Wildlife, that piece of ham wall meant a lot to him. A loco place up here. Oh, bam, my head. Look at home there. Now we can see this. I should have read that before I went up. Children. Look at that. Is there anything in there? Glowworms are not actually worms at all, they're medium sized beetles. Wood pigeon, a very lovely dovey, usually pairing up for life. A lot of time preening and canoodling each other to keep their bond strong. Mew swan, mew swans have a very appropriate courtship dance, curving their necks and entwindling them in a perfect heart shape. I'm first of a track this way, a long track. A long track behind me. The fields that way. And the marsh that way. You alright? Is there anything down there? Anything good? Marsh Harrier. Marsh Harrier? Yeah. yeah. Well. Hopping up over the other Oh, right, nice. Nice, yeah. Is, um, it, is it far to go? I know just along there and left, maybe one kilometre. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Enjoy your walk. He was saying the marsh harrier down this way, one kilometre. I've got a feeling like this loop or walk is more than an hour. Just spoke to a nice lady, uh, she's just a local, uh, walking off there. Said this is this is the ham loop. We've got another chopper. We've got a lot of choppers going over and I think that's a plane. So basically she's saying uh, I was worried about parking restrictions, like I had to be back to the car park at a certain time, but not an issue I don't think, went off what she said. 
So this is the loop. It does sound like you've got to go on the main road and go back on yourself. And there's a bridge and it's a bit that's overgrown. Yeah, I'm a little confused by it all. I just tested my energy levels today. I think it's the kind of place when they say you can walk around in an hour, it's a bit of an underestimation. This home wall path is going on for miles. This is all I see for the last 30 minutes or so. Just this path and landscape like this. Oh, it's a much bigger wall than I intended today. Here we have a tent. What's all this about? Private property. Someone's tent. On a little secluded beach area. Very nice. Beautiful spot. So I spot two more people and they think I've gone a bit too far for the ham loop. Uh, but good news is the Glastonbury Tor should be able to see it from up here somewhere. I think we see it actually. Just up there. Six and a half thousand steps already on this walk. Don't feel as though I've accomplished very much to the plan. But I definitely see the tour there. So I'm faced with a road this way the exit route, a road that way. So we've definitely come out of the reserve, gone too far. While it's now 5 p.m. I've decided to walk back on myself as much as I don't want to, walking down the same track I came up. But we've come a bit too far, it seems. A bit off more than I can do, I think. I might need to make a thousand steps. Find it tough today. But I didn't intend walking like 10,000 steps and I haven't seen much just been walking down this track this is my view this is my view like this for a mile or two miles the energy is such I'm just gonna walk back <laughs> get back to the uh, start and kind of replan for another day I think right yeah if anything we've done a lot of walking today we've got exercise but sorry I've not shot a lot of interesting video it's the kind of place you need to know, not need to know where you're going better. I so wish, so wish I had a bike on this track right now. You can look at it. A bike is perfect, but it's definitely hard when you're on foot like this, just walking and walking and walking in a hot day in the middle of the afternoon. And we're on 10,000 steps. What can I say? Feels though I've not really achieved much in this video. But I've done 10,000 steps. I guess I was just afraid to take the little routes, the trials in different places because I weren't sure of the guidance. Just more walking than I intended in this heat of the day. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining too much, but that's all the energy I've really got. And it, walking in this direct sunlight, it is hot. This needs a bit more time and more knowledge of where I'm going. So if you've seen it this far, thanks for watching. Okay, have a great week. Right, talk to you soon. Peace.